Welcome to another episode of Don't Panic Geocacher. I'm Arian and I go by Waterfan5 on the geocaching.com website. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about how to solve GCARDWB problem solving skills. This puzzle was part of a series that was placed for the Going Caching 2024 mega event in Rome, Georgia. I placed a series of uh, six caches, five caches, and a bonus cache that were together um, all related about detective skills, which was the theme of the Going Caching Maggie event. Each one had a different element related to detective skills, and this one was all about puzzling skills and had a heavier puzzling element. So let's take a look at the geocaching.com website and take a look at what the puzzle was. So here is uh, the puzzle. I've hidden everything that gives away the coordinates. And so um, there's a couple of elements to it. There's the puzzle itself. There's a field puzzle that is the most difficult one in the series, but the height itself is pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, I created the puzzle, so hence no problem of spoiling it, <laughs> spoiling my own puzzle. And um, as I mentioned, this was part of a series, detective skills, all about problem solving. Because this was for a mega event, um, I put quite a few hints in there. I wanted people to solve it. So if you read the flavor text, you will find quite a few hints. So it talks about problem solving, mental skills to solve a complex problem. And then it says, just about when you think you solved it, there is another puzzle in front of you. This is a hint of how it needs to solve it. This is a puzzle made out of other puzzles. And I'll explain it in a second. I'm also giving you a warning. Of course, you may have done too much work afterwards because you don't have to solve everything that is given to you here. And I'll explain that later as well. So this was kind of like a hint that maybe there is, you will at the end have to done too much work. Then the puzzle itself. Um, all I got is this mysterious picture. So technically this is all you need to solve it. The rest is just hints. Um, I watched the suspects throw it by the wayside. This is another hint. It makes more sense if you have been to go and caching. Um, but I didn't feel bad about including this because uh, another puzzle that had published gave another hint that were pointed to the same way about the wayside, which was a music video in a previous puzzle that also mentioned the waysiders, which are the organizers of go and caching. I'll explain more about why that's important in a second. Once you figure out what it means, you can find the stash. And so you had to kind of, from this puzzle, from this picture, you had to get the coordinates. There was one more important detail, and I'll explain that later as well. Um, more puzzling may be required to open the container. There's also a field puzzle, and I'll also explain the field puzzle. So yeah, there were quite a few hints. Um, you think you've solved it, there's another puzzle. Of course, you've done too much work afterwards. Throw it by the wayside. And something that I didn't show you, but there was just a week before, there was another published cache, another puzzle in the series, uh, which had a song about the waysiders, the organizers of Cohen caching. And this is the information that you had to combine together with one of the pictures that was shown on the guest page, this uh, satellite, how satellites pinpoint an exact location. Because that's what you had to do. You had to solve other puzzles. You may, may not, <laughs> you may solve too much. And the hint was that the waysiders, because you had to solve waysider puzzles. So this was the picture from the page with the numbers. And you had to solve Basically, out of the five that were given here, or six, but the sixth one didn't have a number because it was basically too far away. But if you solved three out of these, then with this same way the satellite determines the location, three different satellites at a distance gets the location. Well, three solved puzzles and the distance given to you would give you the exact location of the geocache. And you can see that the names of the pictures coordinate with 
puzzles published by the Waysiders, the organizers of Cohen Caching. So they have one called Computers, one that's called Anybody Seen My Truck? Am I in the Right Class? Only Time Will Tell? A Twisted Pair of Puzzles? And Trial at Ration Station QTQ, which happens to be also one of the puzzles you could solve. Now I purposely picked puzzles that had a checker so that you could verify you had it correct. Uh, but it was a combination between still arc, uh, still available and archived puzzles. But again, you only had to solve three. Or if you only solved two, you had more or less a 50% chance as if you do like uh, the position determining with two, there's two circles with three, you have an exact location. So you took the solved coordinates of these three mystery caches. You use a circle intersection using the distance given images. There's a variety of tools that can do that. Um, Geocaching Toolbox has a way of doing it. Um, there is a Dutch website that can do it. Um, now listen to me. And various other tools can do this. You can't do it on a map because the earth isn't flat. So you had to use the actual calculation. So that's why there was exact distances given. Otherwise you would be too far off with the location. I'd set the range quite big, as big as the geochecker would allow me to even allow if you were off with your exact calculation that you would still get the final coordinates. If you want to know more about how to do circle intersection, um, I have a video called Maps, uh, Projections and Ge Geometry Puzzles that goes into exact details and also shows how to use some of these websites. But use any of these websites or any other website that can do uh, calculate the same location and you would get the nice intersection of circles as you see right here. Uh, this one calculates the exact location. Note that I used a different example. So this will bring you to the clock tower, which is not the answer to the puzzle. I just made did it from a different angle. And here is now listen to me, which again shows you the exact location, including the intersection. It calculates the intersection similar like this website does. In the geocaching tool kit, you don't get the intersection location. You have to somewhat read it from a map, which is of course less precise, but in this case still doable. So any of these tools would give you then at the end the final location. Now this was not the end of the puzzling because every cache in this series also had a field puzzle that was kind of like following the theme. So there was a puzzle attention to detail where you had to pay attention to the details. Um, this one was uh, puzzling, was all about problem solving. So you had to solve a problem when you find it to get the combination on how to open the container. So this is what you would find if you find a container. So it's a plastic ammo can. And on top of that was this piece of paper that was taped to it, from which you had to derive the lock combination. Now, this was a four letter combination lock. So, uh, and if you rotate it uh, correctly, like it was on the container, so the letters were up, then you had this picture. And then above the text it says repeat 13 times. So this is of course share. So with that information, share was, isn't, doesn't look straight up. She's actually rotated and then 13 times. So repeat 13 times the rotation. In other words, share, rotated, repeat 13 times is share, rot 13. And that gives the word pure. And that would open the cache container. So yeah, it was uh, uh, definitely some people that struggled with that, but that was the additional uh, puzzle that you had to solve as part of this uh, geocache. Geocache is still there, will still be there for a while. So if you haven't found it yet, you could, and you happen to be in Rome, Georgia, then at least you know the code word and you know how to solve the rest of the puzzle. But you still may have to solve the Waysider puzzles to get those solved coordinates that you need. So with that, the end of this uh, uh, episode, if you enjoyed it, please like. If you're not yet subscribed, then please subscribe. Um, if you want to leave a comment, feel free to leave a comment. Maybe you have other websites that can do similar calculations or maybe you have additional uh, information. Uh, love to hear. You can also contact me 
the geocaching.com website, Waterfan5, it's probably the best way to reach me. Or if you want to send me an email, you can send me an email at geocacher.waterfan5 at gmail.com. With that, thank you very much for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.